Okay, so it's time for another Feature Friday. We are going to talk about count books. Relatively new application that's under the inventory module. So let's just get right into it and go count things. Okay, so here we go with count books. Logging into Application Suite. Go ahead and get yourself over into Manage. And then once we get into Manage, we're going to go over here to Inventory. We're going to scroll down to Count Books. But first, let's just kind of mention that ultimately we're going to use the Inventory Counting application. So go back over here to Count Books. Launch into that traditional looking application. And we're just going to go over here to the right hand side, or I suppose we could do it on the other side to start a new count book. It'll auto generate a number and we're going to describe it as central inventory. Okay. Spelling it properly, of course. Now we're going to choose the storeroom, which we wish to do counting within. I'm just going to conveniently choose central. And then down here towards the bottom, I'm going to choose Selection Type. And this is where you begin to define the specific items that you wish to count based on some criteria. However, if you just want to count all of them in this book, then you would just very simply choose All. Okay. You'll also notice if you roll down now that you've made a selection, that the selection criteria at the bottom of the page here has also been set to all. Let's go ahead and save the count book. And once it's finished, you'll notice here under item summary, there are 172 items that are going to be in this count book. So just for fun, let's go up to the central storeroom, go to storerooms, and let's see if there's 172 items in that storeroom. Okay. And you can see there are 133. That's because we selected all, which may include tools and rotating assets and such. So items are 133, but the total number of things in the storeroom that we're going to count is going to be all of them. Let's go back to the count book. Let's go look at the count book lines, which should have 172 items for us to count. And so we can confirm that. That's good. We go back to the count book main page. Let's change its status. And we're going to say this is an approved count book. We click approved and click OK. And now we're actually ready to use the count book. OK, so let's use the counting app now. So we go back over to inventory. And let's pretend we're out in the warehouse and we're either launching the application from here uh, in a browser or we're using the actual mobile application. Um, either way is fine. We click on inventory counting. The application renders here. And you can see that we can uh, use the count books, which we will. Um, but just a side note, you can also do ad hoc uh, counting uh, here as well. When I open the count books section, you can see that um, I have just these two count books that are available to me. And one thing to mention is that the count books that the user sees are based upon the default storeroom that they are set for. So if there were other count books in the system, but me as a user do not have access to that storeroom, I would not see those count books. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead. This is my uh, one that I just created. I'm going to move over here to the right and I'm going to open up this, uh, this count book and allow it to render. And then it's a, a very simple matter of just coming down the list. And as I look in the bin and see how many items are in the particular bin, I just enter the count here. So there's one, okay? And I just hit tab, and it moves that item to the bottom of the list so I don't have to worry about it again. <laughs> okay, so 
not everything uh, works out really great in the world of technology. So I had a bit of an outage uh, here while I was recording this. So I had to kind of redo and start over again. So some of the numbers are a little different. But what I wanted to point out to you was that um, on account book, as it's going through its uh, as it's going through its process, um, you know, certainly it may find itself in an in progress uh, status. Okay, and whether that's coming from people out in the field doing that or from behind the scenes here, um, but as the uh, items are counted and then ultimately when you perform a reconciliation you will see the item summary being updated down here on the uh, main count book page so obviously we had 172 selected as the counts are being performed this field will be updated and then the matches yes or no and then ultimately when you reconcile you'll see that updated as well and then, of course, when all of this is complete, um, you will come in here and you will make the count book in a complete status. And this is similar to a work order where it's closed. It's now a historical record. And so you just click complete, click OK, and you're all done with the count book. So hopefully that gives you a good view of uh, how count books work and then how you actually use them. A um, little bit of an interruption there in the middle. But... Um, uh, should be good to go. So thanks for your time.